All right, red green prevails again. It was actually really close. He almost brought it back. Almost got it back. Where is the red black, guys? Doesn't red black just beat red green? It still has a hard time, but it does do better. It does the yeah. best. Yeah. Gank is amazing versus this deck. Coup de Gras is amazing versus this deck. Shit, maybe you throw Lion in there, play some Mana Drain up in this B. Alright, looks like this is a desperate deploy into the first lane to look for a TLT himself. Well, not only that, but you just need everything to block everyone. Because he has no creeps in hand, right? That ain't it. Yeah, his opponent also doesn't have a way to end the game, but... His opponent is ending the yeah. game in the last lane. Oh. Just from creeps alone, so... LGD has to blink out one of his heroes? No, 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 he doesn't have a tower yet. Oh. Well, getting to the last tower will be the first tower, and the next turn is going to get a tower here. You're going to get this one, yeah. Okay, Berserker Call. That shrinks a lot of damage. Actually, that's huge. And now he could blink out Lycan or Treant to save... His other tower. Is LGU back? Do you want to do that though? I think I think you just push as much damage as possible. Oh, look at that. Instant cleanse. Easy. I like it. I like pushing damage here too. Yeah. You just, he, he just, if he wins his tower, he wins. Yeah. Do you just he put the blink dagger here? You deal two more. You have two red heroes coming in. That's super beefy. Are they time of triumph? No, they're not. They're not. But they still hit hard. So all he needs is to top deck Time of Triumph and do easy. Seems like you just described the entire uh, matchup. The entire red green. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Lycan could blink out, or you could blink out the the Bristleback. Which... If he blinks out, the tower doesn't die. I think. Oh, the he... tower doesn't... no! You could blink out the Bristleback, and the tower dies. Oh wait, wait, wait! He's sieging. So he needs to play a Savage Wolf, and he needs to recognize that. He needs to play more than Savage Wolf, actually. Rose Leaf and Savage Wolf? Yeah, he has to play both. I don't know if you want that. Because <laughs> Lycan's giving four damage, right? So if yeah, he yeah. Leaves, yeah, that's well, not enough. Both heroes are giving four damage. So he could play two creeps and be able to blink one of them out. Obviously, it's better to blink out the Bristle because he has Siege for the first lane. I think, I think you're right, actually. I think he has to... Play two creeps and then blink out Bristle. That is uh, the play. Well, he's not going for that play. Oh no, I think he missed his math. Uh oh. No. He's gonna say he's gonna take it the, the next goal. Isn't it better then to actually blink out the the bristle, the time of triumph hero? Well, I I think so because if you're gonna do that, right, the time of triumph hero uh, gives you lethal. Yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't give you lethal. No, no, no it doesn't. I th for some reason, I thought the first tower was at eight. I was I was thinking of the uh, the other here, uh, other the bottom player's tower. Okay, one piece needs to draw a berserker here. Very very badly. Well, it actually doesn't matter. Like, LG could just play Marifold Brawler. Well, or Time of Triumph. <laughs> Time of Triumph uh, is the answer here. Well, it's not the answer. It's just the best play. Because, for example, if... Oh, man. He should have played Double Fight Through the Pain first. You know, the thing <laughs> is, like, if One Piece drew Time of Triumph, he could have drawn this game. But now instead he loses. Alright, because he hasn't taken the last tower yet. Like, if he went Roseleaf, Druid, and Savage Wolf to take the tower in the last turn, and he draws Time of Triumph here, he, he, he could draw. Drawing dead. Oh, maybe not. Does this... Yeah, he this works. Jasper he has Jasper. Oh, wait, this works? Oh my goodness. Are you joking me? He's still dead. He's still dead. No way, you can play Savage Wolf to block. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, maybe he knew exactly what he was doing. He needed a creep to block here. 
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, are you kidding me? Did he just... Heart of the cards? Truly the heart of the cards. The best part about this is it's exactly enough to kill the axe. More than enough. It's two over. No, no, it's exactly enough to kill the axe. It's 18 life. Oh, on this axe, sorry. Yeah, was... yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, Berserker call. Let it rip. Oh my god. And showing lethal on 9, but then one of these creeps going to come down a block. Dude, Jasper Daggers is so insane. Wow. So the fact that he did not go for a draw last turn, again, he could have played the two creeps to take the tower, but, well, he, he would have drawn an, another creep anyways, a Song Hall Elite. So it would have worked out either way. So I still think the, the play that he didn't go for was probably the optimal play. But definitely worked out here for One Piece. What a game. I think he, since he saw the uh, the potion come out as well, I think I think he realizes that he top decked the the berserker call. <laughs> yeah, which would make me mad. <laughs> All right, let's look into the other semifinal. Is it red green? Why do I even have to ask? Oh, I see an emissary in one lane. At turn three. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, double uh, double Salmanis favor. It's your classic red green ramp. Okay, and then he's also winning the last lane, dueling the tree. And then booty blasting. Wait, away. hold on. Both players have emissary on turn three. Oh, you're right. Oh, this is some bullshit. Well, I'm I'm all I can say is even though you have double em or even though you have emissary as the as omega, you're in a much Worse more dangerous lane. position. Yeah. Yeah, you're in the second lane. That's that's the problem. Uh luckily for him he does have uh two creeps coming in. Man, we're just looking at another like I'm gonna go for eighty play. I mean these wrecking players they know one thing. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna go eighty. He has Ty though. If Ty survives here Yeah. If Tide survives here, he could mirror from. Wait. No, wait. Dude, who cares about the first lane? Just missed your last lane. <laughs> who cares? Wait, does he die on the last lane? No, he doesn't die, but it's really close. Are you sure? I think Omega wins middle next turn. Right? Look, look at how much mana there is. He goes Stone Hall Elite, Stone Hall Elite, Kraken Shell for initiative. Or pump, and then Kraken Shell for initiative. And then he pumps again next turn. Isn't that just enough? That has to be enough. In fact, I'm going to call it enough, right? He needs to play Kraken Shell, though. What do you need initiative for? The first lane. You need to ravish that shit, dude. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Okay, okay. Might be, might be. I would play... Uh... You go Stonehall, Stonehall, you pump. Initiative. And don't you just win? Okay, okay. Oh, actually, no, I like this more. This is, this is what I was thinking about. The Meryl fell, and then you crack and jump. I, think I mean... It puts out a little more. It makes it a little easier for you to... They are uh, literally the same. They're literally the same. It, it makes you're... it... No, no, it just makes spending your mana a little easier. Yeah, you're more mana you efficient. The... Yeah. yeah. Next turn, you could maybe Berserker plus Stone Hall lead or something. Yeah. And then, if you let's say you draw a duel, you can duel as well. Sure. You're right, you're right. Not literally the same. And then you crack in. And you win. Tied in the first lane, man. Doing stuff. He didn't Kraken! What if he just... Wait, actually, does it... Does it really matter? It does! Because what if you somehow kill Tide now? And he could start blinking middle. Oh, he does not blink. It actually does not matter. No, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, who cares? 
actually, I can't. I guess it still kind of matters. Um, it, it doesn't. Let's say for let's it, say for example, your your opponent bought blink, and then your opponent blinks mid, and you can't stop him because you didn't have initiative. Right, actually, right, it right. Doesn't matter. It, it doesn't oh, sorry, matter uh, in the, in the hand that we see, but it, it's just more optimal, right? Like, why didn't he crack and shell? Why, why didn't you? Yeah. yeah for yeah. example, yeah, there could be an, enough magic. For example, like if he blinks out. The arrow's mid. Saving Kraken for next game. <laughs> yeah, it actually doesn't doesn't matter here because of the hand that we see. But all right, let it rip. Oh, looks like he missed anyways. <laughs> he sees the Jasper. Like, for what? He doesn't care. Uh, that's the... I hope I don't die here somehow. And he is gonna die, right? We did the math correctly. Yeah, he's gonna die. Is he? You can Berserker Call into... Stonehall Elite. Uh, Stonehall Elite, and then Pump. I assume that's enough? The Berserker Call unlocks 13. And this board yeah, is way you... too wide, yeah. You know what also beats this deck? What? Salamania combo beats this deck. What does this deck do against an infinite one turn kill? Nothing. Play Jasper Dagger and then enough magic. I guess so. <laughs> All right. I respect that taking its time, making absolutely sure everything is in order. So many uh, red green ramp games that I forgot which one is which at this point. All right, what's happening in this one? I see two stars aligned in one hand, but no big cards. And then you see two emissary in the other hand. Emissary with no ramp. Hold on. There's more ramp in the deck for you to top deck. Alright, there's no ramp in the deck for you to top deck. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter for the for LGD, because even if he drew ramp, he doesn't have green heroes in other lanes to play the emissary. <laughs> if he drew ramp and time of triumph, it's a different story. Not going to be the case here. My lane's looking a little rough here. No Jasper daggers either to uh, Berserker call with. Okay, so if you Berserker call with the axe, um, you don't kill both. But if you Berserker call with LC, you kill everything. Okay, enough magic. Well, he's not going to have the option to. So now, LGD can fight through the pain if he wants initiative or something. I think you just pass. I think so too. Yeah, you just, you just pass because you don't have a... You don't have a red hero deploying. And the only card you're really playing around is Berserker Call if you want initiative. So, might as well just save that for later. You know there's an achievement in the game for doing over 100 damage? Oh, really? Yep. I feel like, uh... If you want to do over 100 damage, this is the deck that you could give it a try. Pretty much any Emissary deck you could give it a try. Nah. Just play, uh... Just play Oath. Okay. Just play Blue, Blue Black Oath. Pretty sure Emissary is, uh... Easier deck to do it with, but... Sure. Oh, it's harder to do with a uh, emissary because it's over over a couple of turns. Oath is just like instant, right? It's just like right there. I mean, last turn he could have done it. The thing about Oath is it's hard to actually keep your board alive, right? That's why you gotta bait him. All right. Well, okay, he has initiative. He could call here. He 
he dies though. Yes, he could also just smash Salomene's favor and take him down if he's afraid of eight. But I think given that you have a red and your green. Oh, what about this? All right, never mind. I was gonna suggest um, fight through the pain, berserker call. Ooh, that is the optimal play. Straight up. Not gonna be the play, the, the, the case here though. Yeah, that was the optimal play. All right, just playing creeps to chump. Takes no damage this turn. Are we going to see an honest fight in the middle lane, or are we going to see one of these players going for the 80s? No, no one's going to go for 80. It's going to be a fight in the mid. I, I think I think with what's in uh, the... What's in uh, the One Piece player's hand? It's it's just not something you can justify going. Yeah, I agree. Watch him double deploy left. <laughs> if he double deploys left, I'm I have lost hope. I'm gonna go ahead and say LGD wins. Let's see another Savage Growth come down. Oh, I like this more. Ooh. Did he curve in? He did. Easy. Do you put the rose leaf druid to save the rose leaf druid? Huh? Oh, he doesn't have any. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong hand. Yeah. Wrong hand and wrong mana. There's a lot of things wrong. <laughs> you know, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, when you spectate, that seems to happen quite often. Well, because like, you're I looking at two hands, right? And you're looking at two different players. Yeah. Your, your attention is divided. Okay, TP's out. All right, LGD looking like looking uh, like he's in a really good spot right here. I think he's gonna deploy left, cause that's like, like even though it's not very likely, I I think like you should still deploy left as a just in case. Yep. And then you can fight through the pain afterward. You can fight through the pain, or you can also just try to win that lane. You have oh, that's true. You have a pretty big stone hall lead. You can play emissary there. He has two emissary in hand, so you might as well just dump one in the first lane. That is a good one point. And then we have the super wide board, but ah, oh, this so this is the sure. downside of playing ramp. Triple stars align to nothing. You don't always just have the nuts. Yeah, but he can triple stars align and play every red card. Now. That's true. Give him the nasal goo into berserker call into enough magic. Yes, easy. Oh, he wants uh -oh. to spring. Okay. I think I think this is uh very valid. The oh. draw the draw lasts. Oh my god. Dude, he drew time of triumph. Yeah. Seems good. Time of triumph. Yeah, I think you just play time of triumph. I don't, don't even think you play emissary. Don't think about it. Just when you can TLT, TLT. Especially in this matchup. If you can TOT, just do it. He's doing this the thing him. where he thinks about it. Oh, oh he did go for the emissary. Alright, I'm not I'm not a fan. You just enough magic to hear, alright? Defensively? You have to. This is one of the many reasons why TOT is just superior. I think he's still gonna end up winning the game, but Yes, I agree. Because red green on the other side, there is no answer to TOT. Uh, did he manage to pick up a blink? He didn't. LGD didn't manage to pick up a blink, so not gonna be able to move heroes over there. I guess if you really wanted to, now now you could just play uh, time of triumph here, right? Well, his opponent also has a time of triumph, so maybe not. Oh, you know what? Twitch chat is making a great point. When you have so many stars aligned, you might as well just fire one off. Because your opponent might get scared and play enough magic if they have one in hand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not a bad, not a bad move. Alright, we're going to see a call. Very good call. 
pushing for 14 now, and this basically forces his opponent to deploy into this lane again, even though he's getting wrecked in the middle lane. You could Berserker take down three creep. No, I don't. I don't bother with that anymore. Just play your second M. Oh, what am I talking about? You only have a red. All right, Berserker call. <laughs> yeah, you have no better play but the Berserker call. Well, both players gonna end up Berserker calling because this Berserker call takes down a creep that's blocking like eighty billion damage. If he Berserker calls here, he dies. So he's gonna go for the clear instead. Yeah. This is enough? This is more than enough, yeah. Alright, GG. He could go for the fancy lead though, the the time of triumph lead though. Triumph. No style. How many Rikery mirrors do you think we have left? All of, all the way? You know, final best of five, right? You're telling me we're gonna watch red green for five games? <laughs> well, it doesn't change. We're gonna just watch red green all the way. <laughs> uh, all right, semifinals. Oh look, what a surprise! Oh, Ravage, got him. Okay. Not going to die. Lethal prevented. Wait, there's Jasper Dagger. You Jasper Axe and you just let it rip, right? Well, something to point out is that the game isn't over, right? He doesn't have a tower yet. That's true. So you really have to consider like your options here. Wait, if everything works out for him, for, in his perspective, he wins this turn, right? He could Jasper X, Berserker, kill everything, blink Elsie over, and take two tower this turn. Oh, ho, 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 the gust. So not anymore. If you Jasper Dagger now, you can still take this tower, but you no longer take the middle tower. I wonder now if you Jasper Treant and kill the Tide. Yeah, he's going for that instead. But how do you survive next turn? That's the question. There's two more heroes coming in. I guess he's killing everything right now. No, it doesn't. That, that part doesn't matter. What matters is whether or not Omega can take this tower, right? Because he doesn't have... There's, there's no towers dead yet. No one has a tower yet. So both sides really, really need this first tower before they can even consider any. I mean, Omega's in a good spot taking it himself. Because Omega's... Oh, just a pass. Why didn't he smash? He could smash the the enemy improvement for a card draw. I'm not sure. He had. To do... It's not like he had initiative or anything. Yeah, either. and he has the extra mana. Okay, so interesting to, to see where that tree and blinks to. Second lane or first lane. There's Emissary in hand, so blinking into the first lane. Actually, I don't think he can leave this lane. I think he stays. He's already pushing down to 19, right? You should you should continue pressuring this lane. Because if there if there's two lanes he's gonna win in, it's the first one and the last one. I think he needs to hold the middle. Right, but he also needs to not die middle. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So he can deploy one one left and one middle next turn. I, I guess that's... he I guess he favors into the first lane and then. You just ignore the first lane. You just double deploy middle. Try to save it. Uh, because you're not saving the first lane. There's three TOT heroes there. That first lane's done. Although then you're not gonna be able to push the first lane, so it's actually kind of hard. I I think I think you might be right. I think um, double deploying mid is going to be the better play. Because if you double, if you deploy anyone left, they just die, and it's not like you're stopping three time of triumph heroes. So your best bet is to go into the middle lane to hold, because that's where you can actually stand a chance to hold. Oh, 
chat's right. Uh, they did not smash because both of our heroes were stunned and silenced by Ravage. Talking about last turn when we were asking why didn't why didn't oh. he uh, play smash the defenses? That makes sense. <laughs> this is the second time we forgot about Gus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Double mid. This is good for Omega because he gets to get his hidden with the Stonehall elite and take a tower. Ooh. Oh. Is this a time of triumph blink mid? No, this is a blink oh, first and then time sh mid. yeah, after okay, okay, okay. afterwards. So you can pour a draw ranger out now, but kinda scary. You gotta just wait. Cause Savage Wolf could come down. Savage Wolf yeah. could come down block. Or duel. Or duel. So duel and Savage Wolf is going to prevent. Oh, that's rough, actually. Ooh, that is brutal. So now he has to, like, he's thinking to himself, okay, the only way I can get this tower is if I play Emissary. And pump. And then Savage Wolf. And then he's going to get blocked. Oosh. I think I think if I'm looking at 8 mana, I just pass. And wait and see what he does. Okay. Okay, here comes the wolf. Going to play the wolf anyways. Then he's going to okay. heal. And then he's going to start smashing. Okay. Pretty good turn of the events here for Zeratine. Yeah, that's actually a really, really big deal for Thirteen, because like his opponent doesn't have any way to take this tower. Like the only way is if he commits Time of Triumph. But if he commits Time of Triumph, you're just like, okay, well, I already took this lane. I don't really care. Yeah, and he leaves the red hero behind to go for Berserker next turn. Okay, Spring the Trap could come down. Marifold Brawler could come down. Or you could just say, look, you got nothing. I'm going to spring the trap right and try to take it this turn. That's a ballsy play. There's there's no way. <laughs> there's absolutely no no chance that we'll have. I think Omega just loses. Yeah, I think Omega lost. I, yeah. Like, there's just so much pressure coming out here. Okay, Brawler is going to be the play here. It just dies. 16 health unit just dies. <laughs> okay, and then you just... I think he's actually considering Berserker Call right here. That might be the case. Let's see, Berserker Call... Kills X. Berserker Call is lethal, right? Yeah, I think so. It's only not lethal versus Bronze Legionnaire uh, in hand. Can stop. Okay, he doesn't go for it. We're ready for okay. He might be playing around uh, Duel because his, if he if he uh, if he Berserker calls um, the Stonehall Elite could get Duel, I guess. Yeah, but then... The so Stonehall Lee would be at 8 attack. I guess LC still survived through that. Still survived. Yeah. I don't know. I think generally it, I like going for the win when possible. I mean, the way I see it is if you do, if you make this play, you're going to win anyways. Sure. And it's less... Less risky. Less, less... risk. Less every... Or less, all, all problems are, are lower. You don't have to think as much either. You see Time of Triumph, you... Yeah. Generally, see Time Triumph, play Time Triumph. It's the, the right play. Okay, 13 and Omega taking a short break from their red-green. No. Nope. Prepare themselves for, <laughs> for more red-green. Red -green. <laughs> <They're not... laughs> uh... Let me tell you about this new deck though. It involves really, really strong red heroes. And what we're going to do is accelerate them forward by playing green cards. You want to do the thing where we could tell who wins based on opening hand? 
Thirteen. These hands suck. No, I like thirteen's hand. Yeah, thirteen's got the better hand for sure. Yeah. Turn one miss. Got a ramp piece. Got a savage wolf for turn two. All right, congratulations to thirteen for making it to the finals. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Bronze Legionnaire for the kill attempt. And you see a Bronze Legionnaire, and you could just... Oh, he doesn't trade Bronze Legionnaire. Why not? Maybe he sees more potential in... Uh, lane 3? There's the no way. Lane? There's no way you put it in lane 3 compared to lane 1. Dude, I'm just going to tell you right now. You're going to see it here. I mean, yes, I'm going to see it here, because he elected to not to play in lane 1, but I'm saying that's the wrong choice. I agree. I agree. What if what if he just is, what if what if he's just okay with taking the uh, damage because he's gonna deploy tree in here anyway? All right. Guess because what? That thinking... creep is now dead. Oh. <laughs> yep. Uh, I got I got nothing. Yeah, I got yeah. I know you got nothing because right, that's, nothing. that's fucking the wrong play. <laughs> I got nothing. I'm trying. I'm trying to. To figure out a plan. Oh, at least he can play Savage Wolf. Alright, cool. Yeah. You know why that wolf did not arrow in? Because you made a misplay. Oh, okay. If you made the right play the last turn, gave him rewards you. So where do you sell a main into? Probably the first lane. You have, you know, a red hero coming back in. You could double up. You can also Berserker call next turn now. Without having to align. Okay. Do you somehow leave here to trade? Mm. Ooh, that's a tough one. Maybe just a duel? I don't even think you want a duel. I don't know. This is a weird position to be in. Yeah. I would feel so sad if I had to Stonehall leave. To get rid of a bronze legion here. Where where can I watch decks? Here, let me press F two for you. There you go. You you now seen the tournament deck list for every single player in this tournament. <laughs> if you want a tiny bit of variation, let me press F three for you. It's like a slightly different list. Yeah, one of them runs uh Plasarim Hourglass. Yeah. I mean, let's be fair. You know, one of them runs Dro instead of Lycan. One of them runs uh, Tide instead of Bristleback. But here's all the deck lists, though. Oh, 13 is running, running the uh, Standard Bear. Yeah. Yeah, you, you put one in. Also, oh, interesting, he could Stars Align into Time of Triumph, but opting for the Hero Kill instead. I, I actually like that a lot, just because he's playing against the Drow Ranger. Doesn't have uh, Jasper Dagger in hand, so... Like, it could very easily be disrupted here. Sure. Enough magic is also another way to disrupt. Mm -hmm. He could he could have also been dual. Sure. Uh, yeah, his Treant could have died to dual, so... I, I definitely like this play a lot more. Okay, so let's see how aggressive uh, Omega is to kill the Treant, because Treant is within kill range. He's gonna go to a duel oh. to kill the axe. You ever see a tide hunter dueling? Dueling? <laughs> That's actually so funny. Okay. Do you think you Jasper here to pressure the trio? Yeah. I mean, you see an item in hand, so maybe it's better you just smash, right? Smash is. Uh, I like. I like smash. Right? It's like, smash well, for forget your mana. Deny the mana, and more more importantly, it's also like one of your best times to play the smash, because <laughs> like at some point it gets harder and harder to actually play the card and cycle. So this is this is a good time. Chat's asking, what do you think is a better green hero? In, In red, red green, green yeah. Oh, so it's, it's, I mean, right now it's basically between Lycan and Drow. Right. I. I'm inclined to say I like Lycan more. Okay, you like being aggressive? I, I, I like being more aggressive. Yeah, it gives you more creeps. Mm. I 
I think I personally it's... like Dro a bit more. I understand my... It's a bit it's weaker like... in the mirror, um, but I feel like it gives you more way to win. Yeah, you're less reliant on the comboing off. Yeah, I, I think you could say the same thing about Lycan, right? Because Lycan also does pressure and push and all that jazz. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, I think, I think they're both viable. It's just, I guess it comes down to preference. Yeah. The, the draw version gives you a better matchup against green, uh, blue decks. It's predominantly why I personally like the draw version a bit more. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I was thinking strictly more for, uh... The mirror match? Mirror matchup. Yeah. yeah. The mirror match, I think I like it, like it more. Uh, simply because he doesn't die to like a random duel from any of these red heroes, whereas Stroud does. It's it's actually kind of funny because if you think about it, uh, looking at the the differences in their decks, um, thirteen runs Klazarim, which right. is more of a more of a counter to deal with mono blue. Okay. And then and then Omega doesn't have any, but then he runs Drow, which is an answer to uh to blue like you said yeah so they're teching against blue either way it's just kind of different ways to do so yeah. yeah and if i if i had to pick one i would take Lazarine to counter blue <laughs> more than more than the the sign i mean for sure in in this particular meta where you know everyone's playing red green then i think drow is more of a liability yeah than definitely. advantage all right so mega is Gonna just put one hero left. We might see the rare footage of Ty dueling again and killing another hero. Can lightning strike twice? I think he's just gonna Stonehall Cloak him first. Yeah. Stonehall Cloak and then maybe then see what your opponent decides to do. I mean, his opponent's gonna draw a card, probably. Yeah. So, so the opponent's gonna draw a card. We're probably going to see the exchange of stars aligned to enough magic, right? Yeah, I, I think that's the case here. Oh! Wait, no green hero. <laughs> I'm ready for oh, this 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 might change things. No, Tide is chilling. Alright. Now, now he has to be very cautious. Maybe, maybe you just Berserker call. Push for a 12? No, I, uh, I I think when you could go for it, you go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Mega stabilizing pretty well here, given that the first lane looked really rough for him. Yeah, definitely. And then and then the cool thing is you can you can crack and shell here. You can crack and shell here, and then uh, ravage, gust or ravage in the first lane. Yeah. Dual crack and shell. You like that? Also, by the way, this version of 13's uh, ramp has no initiative card, so Kraken Shell is always like a straight up, I'm gonna play first. Which is a very powerful tool in a mirror match. Oh, the wolf! Okay. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I was actually thinking about which one he should actually duel. Because he doesn't actually have a way to deal with that wolf if he yeah. doesn't duel it now. Is this going to get out of control? The Bronze Legion always comes with okay. Do you believe in your top deck if you're Omega? You have a Sars line. You go like 2 and 1 or something? Put the, put the like tree in middle? Or maybe draw middle and then double left. You have Ravage, I, I, you have I, Gus. I, I definitely agree. I definitely like double left and then one mid. Or maybe you double mid because you're saying, look, I know your axe has to go mid because you, you're not going to separate your red and green. And we know that 13 does not have Jasper in hand. And he doesn't have enough gold to actually buy Jasper this turn, so... Gus is a hard lockout this turn. The problem is, if he Gus, he doesn't have enough to, to do. Yeah. So, 
It's an interesting choice to see if Omega is going to roll the dice with the 50-50 on... Mist and Berserker. What does Berserker do? A lot. It kills the tree. Actually, it doesn't kill tree. Oh, no, you're talking about... With axe. You're talking about the bottom part. No, I think I would Ravage here, actually. Ravage into what, though? You can Ravage and then Berserker? Because <laughs> the tree won't hit you back? No, actually, you're right. It doesn't do anything. Okay, just... Just Gust here. No, just Berserker. Kill the tree. Because once you kill the tree, he's locked out of green for two turns. And you still have Ravage. Okay, that's fair. Okay, okay. I see I see what you're 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 going for. Okay, okay. And you know what? I'll stars line for miss in the middle lane too. Do you blink dagger duel the tree hit for the exact same reason here? Sure. That's a fair only the only problem with that is you guarantee you're gonna get ravaged next turn. If I mean, Reptile Signet Ring is going to come down and prevent that, I think. If he sets up. Well, first of all, he has to see the Blink Dagger come out. Yep. I'm surprised he did not Stars Align to miss here. Because that Stars Align is going to be a lot less Dead valuable away. next turn. Okay, it's going to pass. Does he want to maybe Blink Duel the Jiro in this lane set? That's probably... Reason why he didn't do it? I mean, it's uh, very viable here. <laughs> By the way, if he stars a lion to miss here, he's presenting lethal. Because he would have gotten four more damage, and then he would have played Rose Leaf from hand. So, just that, you know, long term I, I, thinking. I, I, I would have preferred that as well. And also, since you have so many creeps here. Since you have so many creeps here, I mean, that Mr. Vernus is going to go the distance. Wait. Oh, he's going to take it down in combat? What if that was a, a healing self? Well, it might as well might as well be. It's, he has a Signet Ring. Yeah. Now you have to equip a Blink Dagger if you want to kill her. You know what's better? If you equip the Blink Dagger first and first. then do Yeah, <laughs> and, and then, then do, do... Oh... Uh... All right, he's gonna miss into the first lane. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I mean this is good too. I like this. Whoa! What? what? The double duel. I don't. I don't like this. Uh, he wants to save the blink from for the bristle, which makes sense. All right, because the bristle has done his job here, and he's gonna go into the first lane. He's going into second lane with eight HP. I mean, he does have a call in him. But does he really intend to win from the middle lane? That'd be kind of insane. I mean, I guess, like, to be fair, he knows that Omega doesn't have blink, right? Yep. So that he has absolutely nothing but an LC in the middle lane. And if he, might, if he can deal with the LC, he gets one free turn this turn. Also, Omega has used a single copy of Enough Magic, so there's no shenanigans that Omega could do. Do you Ravage 50-50? I mean, I, I would just play the Emissary. <laughs> or you could actually heal, maybe the Axe, if you're scared. Or maybe he's thinking of using the heal for the LC in the middle lane. Middle lane's also showing lethal right now, so it's... You know the fact that middle is showing lethal is so critical. That means 13 can't just TOT here. Or yeah, maybe, that actually hurts a lot. Or maybe I I think he might just say, look, I'm going to TOT. No, he's going to TOT here. And it looks pretty good up right now until Emissary comes out. And Emissary is going to keep both these guys alive. Oh. 
<laughs> I mean, we knew he had Jasper daggers, but still. I think that was a bad ravage. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it either. So now emissary, but I don't. Emissary actually didn't really mean much, by the way, because of the Jasper daggers in him. Oh, it still saves the treant. It saves the treant. Yeah. I think saving the treant is the big thing, and it you push for four more damage. Yeah. Okay, that's the most you can do. Don't think about flasking. It's going to die anyways. Yeah. The problem so now is Omega can't even take this tower. Because there's a bunch of creeps to play. Alright, so in this position, play the Emissary. Yeah, so... Right so next to He could have Emissary or Stonehall Elite plus Mist. I like Emissary more because it allows you to be more flexible to block with next turn. Because this is, yeah. as all games do in the Red Green Mirror, you turn into a race situation. And being able to block is very, very valuable. All right, can he hold the first lane? He has to stop at nine damage, and two more creeps are coming up. Well, the thing is, he has to hold nine more damage this turn and win the middle lane. Win the middle lane, yeah. <laughs> Which I don't see happening. There is a gust in hand as well, so if he gets gusted here. Whoa! Wow! 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 This is the. I'm hoping I draw every single arrow, I get enough magic, and also top deck time and triumph kind of situation. I mean, that still loses you the game. Like, you draw time and triumph, who, who, who cares? Or Berserker, maybe? You get Berserker, who cares? Well, 13's gonna figure it out for us, because we can't figure it out. Okay, didn't draw enough arrows. Yeah. Still losing. Double, in hand. double Stone Hall Elite? Does that do anything? I mean, it's already over. He just guts him. And then he does, like, okay, you lost. Jasper it up. You can't even Jasper. So here's what's going to happen. You gust. If he, for some reason, had Jasper. Gust him again? You gust again. Like, it's over. But what if he had two Jasper? Well, and now you you're out of mana and he can play whatever. <laughs> Got him. Well, we can clearly see that that is not the case. I, I think I think he deployed this way because it was the highest chance of winning. I think he's relying on the fact that like his opponent doesn't have any gusts. And then uh, he's like, okay, now I can play double stone hall lead to block, but not the case here. He just passes. Okay, drawing to top deck duel. Like duel the emissary? I don't. I don't know what he's trying. To if do. I top deck a duel right there, I'll duel my own melee creep. It's like here, <laughs> half half twelve more damage. That is the truly the, the right play. <laughs> the, the the correct way to leave. Yeah. Wait, what are we talking about? The first lane is like. No, no, no. Never mind. What? He does need two towers, but the first lane is like. Yes. It's so dead. Uh, I'm so confused. Alright, TP out. I like this. And the blinker! <laughs> Come on, guys! <laughs> I I guess for Omega, it is not guaranteed that he takes the second tower, so... He should blink more heroes over. Because right now, a tower could easily get blocked by one creep. So, this, this, game, this game ain't perfect. over yet. Wait, he can't Berserker. Yeah, if he, he Berserkers, dies. he loses. He dies. Okay, okay. Alright. This this stone hall cannot be blocked. Oh, the double silence! And then, and then, oh, and then Gus. Oh, the arrow? The arrow? The arrow? The arrow? <gasps> he doesn't get it. Alright. <laughs> if that arrow... I mean, they wouldn't win for one return, but I still think that Omega was in the lead. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, you have 36 life, of course he's in the lead. Alright, grand final matchup. Do you, do you think that the player is going to switch decks, Gappa? Nah. If I were them, I would be thinking to myself, 
Red green has gotten me this far. Why would I change now? If I was them, I would be thinking to myself, huh, it's a red green mirror match. Do you want to just flip a coin? Instead of playing a full best of five? Uh, I don't know. It's a tough one. I think if I was in this position, I would just play red green. I think LGD is the the player that has a different deck, right? Well, he play, he won one of his games with mono red. Yes, but I think mono red is a bad matchup against Rick Ring. Personally, well, they're gonna take a moment to select their deck. Let's see if they make any adjustments. Imagine if both of them change. That'd be pretty hard. Ooh, LGD is uh, being nice in, in the tournament chat. He's saying, do, do you need a break, Omega Zero? Because you just finished your match. Look at these guys. By the way, there's 10k USD on stake here for the winner. And also, uh, Top 2 gets a contract deal with Invictus Gaming if you're not signed. So obviously the LGD player is already with LGD, but I don't know who Omega Zero is. So maybe uh, after today, it'll be... IG Omega Zero. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You wish you're a part of IG. But I mean, that, if that if that meant I had to go live overseas, I'll pass. Same. <laughs> I would also I pass. Think I want to move over. Yeah, you're you're already Beast Coast, you know. That's true. Beast Coast takes good care of me. Love the brand. Did you see that we came out with a new mas mascot, by the way? I didn't. By the way, they're I'll... taking a five-minute break, so we're going to chat for five minutes. What's the mascot? I'll link it to you. You're going to link it to me. All right, yeah, link dude, it. It's link adorable. It. 